Hi, this is a video on how to use the Bernie Dialer, Livevox Dialer with Apple iOS devices as well as Android devices which come from a variety of manufacturers. There's some information out there saying that you cannot use tablets, uh, whether Android or Apple or iOS, and either phones, Android, Apple, iOS, with the Bernie Dialer, Livebox Dialer. That's not true. You can, and I'll show you how to do so right here. Now, what you need right now is a minimum set of devices. Um, I will show you the two method, two device method first, and then I'll show you a one dice device method. Uh, I'll start with iOS for two device, and then I'll go to Android on one device. But you can also use one one device um, with Apple iOS also, um, such as an Apple iPhone for most people. Um, so let's put it this way. So getting to ready. How do we get to that ready on that agent panel? So you can start making calls. Uh, so for minimum device and service needs, you need a stable internet connectivity on a device that can be a local area network, a Wi-Fi, or cellular data. And you need a phone or device with uh, cell phone voice, landline voice. So yeah, I have cell phone voice on this. You could use landline voice here, as I've got, as well as um, Google Voice or VoIP, which you can also use on most tablets. Most tablets do have; they do have an option for cellular wi cellular excuse me, cellular Wi-Fi, but most people don't have that, so it's not a usually usually an option they can do. A second device is highly recommended to use it, especially if you're going to be sort of stationary. But if you're going to be highly mobile, I think one device is actually optimal. Highly mobile means you can be on mass transit. You can be a passenger in a car, taking a walk, anywhere where you have cellular data connectivity, you probably have phone connectivity in terms of cell phone connectivity. Um, you can also use VoIP and Wi-Fi cellular, but that's probably going to get pretty laggy when you add it all together. So you probably would want a uh, like normal standard cell phone service um, with the cellular data on one device. Okay. But if you're going to be in one place for a very long period of time and using complex script or having to look up lots of voter data, and you can do it, um, you can also use a, a desktop. Uh, more than one monitor uh, is an even greater uh, productivity saver. Uh, but and also even one monitor with a laptop or a desktop with a nice size monitor allows you to open multiple tabs and be more productive, especially looking at voter data information trying to get them, such as their caucus or primary polling locations or other sorts of information you may need to get. So, to move on, uh, the steps. Uh, so what you would do is, first of all, for I will move the phone away from here just so you don't get confused. We will go to the two-device method. All right, the two-device method is fairly easy. Um, you will go, okay, and uh, I will pause just for a sec. So, and this is the two, two version, I'm still looking at that. We're looking on the, the this is an iPad 2, it's an older iPad 2. Uh, it's been upgraded to the latest iOS 9 dot whatever uh, iOS version. But just showing you that you can use this, um, and it's very productive. So what you need to do is download the Puffin web browser. So what we do to do that is on your iOS device, you go to the one, click one button if you add it at the screen this sort of desktop you type screen you go to I'm sorry App Store okay you would then type in Puffin P-U-F-F-I-N you will see Puffin web browser for free sorry about the autofocus right there web browser for free okay it'll take you right there okay great so we have the what you'll do is you'll see to get you can get it and then you can install it the little wheel circle will fill up with a thicker line you will then it'll install itself you will then once it's installed it'll say open just like this okay what you do is you hit hit open once it opens I will instead I'm, I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna go to the appropriate one that's open already so puffins already open for me here now what I'm going to do is show you going back to the script. Okay, you can. So what you do here is you go to the URL bar. You can type in. This is a longer phone, but just type in berniesanders.com/phonebank. That will then redirect you to this longer URL there. Okay. 
So right then and there, you can then choose on a state. I happen to choose, uh, choose Wisconsin. There will be prioritizations on the state. So I wanted to go back and show you that actually. Here we go. Okay, there's prioritizations on the state. Hold on, I'm still back in New York there. All right, here's the states for today. So call voters for Bernie. This is on your right start phone banking, attend a phone bank party. We recommend you do that. But hey, if you don't have the time or place, you can't do it. Make it so, get her done, do it online. Uh, new to phone banking refresher, we do give some 20 minute online trainings there at this point for the campaign. So, getting started, all right, talks about priority calls for today Wisconsin, New York, Pennsylvania. Then it also gives up coming state dates. So for instance, these two states are coming up and the prioritization is obviously the sooner the greater priority unless there's some sort of registration type date or early voting deadline that's going to happen. So I will go back on Puffin. If you go up to Puffin here, you will see you have multiple tabs open. You can select them by going to here. All right. You can also open, I'm sorry, I'll go back here, show you the Wisconsin. All right. Boom, telling you what you're doing. Okay, so how you go get into there? It shows you here. Watch the orientation video. You can watch this video. <laughs> Read step by step guide. You can also do this, view the script, get your login credentials. I'll show you that in a sec. You log in. Okay. So, all right. I'd do is get your login credentials, step by step guide. I'm sorry, go to the calling script. I've already opened that up. I'm going to go to what happens when you click on the uh, get your credentials. I'll go to that next. So you hit login credentials there or get your credentials here, okay, on the on those two locations. So that would take you to a screen just like this. Okay, welcome to the Bernie Dialer system. The URL is um, right there. Sorry about that. It's getting a little, being a little fussy with focusing for some reason. Bernie-phonebanks.hero UK app uh, com slash is what it actually says. Okay, you type in your first name, last name, your email, your zip, and you're calling from either phone bank, field bank, field office, phone bank, or my home. Uh, si habla espanol, I don't speak Spanish. There you go. So create sign up. When you create the sign up, it will take you to the next window, which will give you something like this. And you will see the, the sorry about that little hair there. You will see the fact that you can, uh, it'll give you your login and your pass. See, login right there, password there. Okay, you can start making calls. You'll hit that. I'll show you that in a second, what that goes to. The next drive-in window. The other thing is you can sign up, but if you're on a laptop or desktop and you have either Mac, the OS 10 or Windows, you can use Chrome or Firefox. You can sign up for something called Bernie PB that can keep track of your calls. That's a whole separate video. Just to let you know, and you can, it says to show up here. Yes, these are the top callers for the prior day. Um, just to let you know on iOS and Android, so Apple and Android devices, you cannot use Bernie PB. Okay, it doesn't work on the, I've talked to the developer, it does not work on the, uh, the, uh, either Chrome or Firefox on either device or on Puffin, which is required because it uses um, uh, Flash. So it's got Flash built in. So just to let you know about that, now some people will be asking about that. Once you hit the start making calls, okay, you can either keep this on another tab or write it down, your information. You start making other calls, okay. You will then type in your login ID, password, and then you will select a caller service, okay? So I'm gonna pause it for a second, type in my credentials. Okay, we're on the two method, just again. Sorry to log back in here. I put my credentials in just to make sure it works. Um, and so I put that in, I put the password in. Um, it'll be on this live box, it's what's generally called the, the agent sign-in. Okay, don't worry about the phone extension. If you have problems, you can clear it out. Uh, what you're gonna do is select the service. So whichever one you want, there's quite a few choices today. Okay, which you may have to happen though. Just be be aware you'll go you'll open the drop this down. Oh, where is my Wisconsin? You'll have to and then you see you're not seeing the scroller right there. If you whether you're no matter what you're on this one here, you uh, it's in order to see the scroller you have to push down. So that's otherwise it looks like okay. We can edit this out. All right, got Wisconsin. Now when I hit sign in, I will get something 
We're on the two-device method. Boom, sign in. Ah, I get the LiveOx panel slash agent, also known as AKA agent panel. You will then get your instructions, okay? Ah, what do I do now? So if you're on a one device, you would go and use the dialer on your one device, okay? So you go back, you can use, so if you're on an on, uh, iOS phone, you go back, you dial the number, put the pin in, etc. You'll be all set to go. So what you would do um, with a two device though, is you go to your second device, or it can be either a phone, a landline phone, if you want, okay? Or it can be a cell phone, which this is an Android phone, okay? What you do is you go to, on the, on the phone, whether it's Android or iOS, doesn't matter, you go to your, obviously your phone dialer, you click that out, there'll be a number, it's frequently a Pennsylvania number, okay, you'll dial it up, punch it in, and it's dialing for me, okay? Please enter your PIN, then pound. So I'm going to enter that in right now. Just be aware it takes a second to get your sort of bearings, get it in, and that's very quick. Um, but you have to hit, hit the pound. If you don't, you have three tries. Uh, it can be kind of grumpy, and you should wait till the voice stops before you type in the PIN. I've, I've had issues where if you do it when it's talking, it doesn't like it. Okay, so now we're into the agent panel slash Livebox panel, Bernie Dialer panel, whatever you want to call that. Okay, we're in a not ready state. All right, we're on the line one. Don't worry about these other things. They're not useful. Ah, here we go. There's some interesting information. We have uh, calls in progress. We have 744, so we're really doing very well. We have remaining records on, you know, if the records go to zero, don't worry. Sometimes it goes to zero, and we just keep going. So the remaining records is 47,000 right now. Okay, so we're on Wisconsin caller. We're just cranking through that, so... If you do, just do the math. If we did a call every minute, just say on average, that's 700, over 700 calls a minute we're doing right now on Wisconsin, and we're going to uh, expend those records pretty quickly, wouldn't you say? Yeah, in under an hour. So that's a powerful tool we have right here, and it works very well. Now, you can also switch between uh, services, but I find that uh, what happens here when you try to switch between services, especially on this um, Puffin browser on, on the on the iOS, uh, I have no problem on many of the Android devices, but on the iOS, iOS has a problem here. I can't seem to get this to, to to stay up. So what I would suggest if you want to change services is just to close out the tab and go back to, to here and log in here again. Oops, so that window, I'm sorry, it's going to show you. It would basically be the agent login screen. Okay, you go back there and just select the new... Uh, you select the uh, the drop down that will be the, the the correct login. That's the best alternate way of doing that on this Puffin browser on the iOS. I've had it work both ways, but work and also not work on various Android devices. This Moto X works really really well with Puffin and the whole thing. It's just like it's working on a computer. Uh, I've also had some Samsung devices that are a little crabby, so you have to work with them a little bit. Um, also, but both had Lollipop on them, both this and the uh, and the uh, Samsung device. So here we are. I'm on Bluetooth right now. I have a Bluetooth headset. I really like this Bluetooth headset. It's a, it's an LG. It's a, it's an iTone. It's a 750 model. Uh, it works really well. Um, sometimes I tend to cup the mic. I believe is on this side. I tend to cup it, put it, hold it up towards my mouth more, and then cup it with my hand, especially if you're in a noisy location. Sometimes, such as you're on the street or mass transit or something like that, people can still generally hear you very well. Okay, so I'm going to put that back on because I've got that, and the earbuds. Um, that's kind of Some people might say it's a little too cumbersome, but I think it works really well. If you do order one of these um, LG Tone, the 750 models, just be aware uh, that you try to go with a retail version at a reputable place so you can get an actual, there's tons of fake ones of these out there. Don't do that. Don't be the, don't, don't, if you go to eBay, you're frequently going to get uh, fake ones, so you have to be really cautious on that. Um, so, uh... We're now going back to, excuse me, our dialer agent agent panel window. So you can see that right there, agent panel. So I've got also, I opened up the docs. Let's see, did I open up those docs? I'll show you that. So if I hit this uh, calling script, sorry about that, calling script right here, it should show up uh, in another new, in a new, um, new tab. So here's the Wisconsin, okay script that we're all using today. And uh, they're getting built better as writing some of these scripts. Um, okay, so I'm on here. I'm on Wisconsin Caller. Sorry about that. Uh, if I go ready, 
then the calls will come in. So I'm going to just do one call. I'll show you how to code it, code it, and maybe that it. That'll be it. Okay, so I'm on. I've already dialed in um, in terms of online with these guys. I'm in the call. See. Hello. Hi. I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to reach Angela, please. Hi. My name's My name's Terry. I'm a volunteer with uh, Bernie Sanders presidential campaign. Yeah. Hi. We're, we're just checking to see if you're going to be voting today for Bernie in the Wisconsin primary. All right, wonderful. Thanks so much for your support. Yep, take care. Yep, bye. So this one's easy. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna make it very easy for you. Uh, there's lots of different options. Uh, we'll go through them real quickly. Uh, Strong Sanders. Well, when you're doing get out the vote on election day, you don't probably don't ask him if you're volunteering. You want to get through as many calls as possible. Um, we have various options. Lean Sanders, Strong Sanders. Uh, she would be already voted. That's what she, her coding was. Undecided. Um, usually they don't tell you you're undecided, but they frequently do. Lean Clinton, Strong Clinton, other. Mm, yeah, there's also a coding uh, coding guide that we have. Uh, we can look that up. Um, not voting, already voted. If someone says, oh, not available, I'm busy, please, I, I, I can't talk right now, that's busy. Um, deceased, I've had some of those. Do not call when someone gets sort of said explicitly, I don't want you calling anymore. Just be aware sometimes that if the person is not the person you're reaching as the contact voter, if it's some gatekeeper of the phone, especially if it's a landline, uh, that may not be an appropriate code. Um, moved would mean someone moved out of state or the person moved away from the phone number. Uh, no answer means you did not get a contact with any human being, basically. Uh, or there was something going on, the person said, hello, hello, then you said, oh, hello, and they didn't hear you, so that's no answer. Or if that seems like the best approach. Not home means, okay, gee, uh, person's not here, not home. That's pretty self-explanatory. You get a hold of someone else who's gatekeeping and they're not there. Or I'm not home, if you get, say, an answering machine that says, hi, I'm, I'm John, and you're calling John, um, then you know that they're not home because that's, that's a confirmed ID. Um, other languages, uh, such as in language other than Spanish, because uh, we do have a Spanish option, but that would be, excuse me, would be an other, other language, it means that most likely will not get a call back, just to let you know. Um, because we presently don't have the ability to go beyond Spanish. Um, so use that with sparingly uh, if possible. Wrong number is obvious. That means uh, wrong number, wrong number. There's also people who have moved to a wrong number. You could also use that code. Sometimes people do use that. In terms of refused, um, that's a coding where someone goes along, you say, hi, I'm so-and-so, Bernie Sanders, and they hear you, you know they hear you, and they just hang up or they say they don't really say much and they, they don't say do not call. Um, they're basically refusing to say, you know, I don't have time or whatever. Um, it's not clear what that is, but that's basically refused. So go from there. Spanish is uh, si habla no español on your part. And uh, if it's a si, then you say, oh, lo siento. And then you try to get uh, Spanish people to call them. Uh, we code it for that. So I have to code this properly. I'm sorry, excuse me. This will be like kind of funky can uh, focus here really getting annoying. Uh, uh, let me see. I'm sorry. Already voting. So I code that out. Okay. And what I can do is before the next call comes in, I'll hit not ready. You can also on the code, select on the coding button, do not call. And you can, I'm sorry, not ready. And it'll take you to the not ready state when you code. So that's that. So going along here, I'm sorry about that little, little hiccup there. Uh, we're on the not ready state. So in order to get off, what you can do is just hang up. So we're already in sort of eight minutes. All right. Hang up, see what happens when you hang up on your second device. Boom, it goes fail to check agent status. Okay, so you can go to there, it'll then go back. Boom, it closes on this, uh, this, this uh, iOS, it closes by itself on Puffin, and it sort of takes you back to your last tab. So that's what you have it on two devices, uh, cell phone with cellular telephone, as well as the Apple device here with um, iOS and Puffin, the Puffin browser, um, using with the Puffin browser because it supports um, flash uh, is able to be used. So uh, then I'm going to try another op another uh, thing to show you right now on Android.